Alright Jim, welcome back to another edition of Grixis Dragons Fought the Best of Three series. Without further ado, let's not waste any time. Let's get into the games and I'll see you there. Alright, let's be on the play, shall we? Uh, Double Dragon Skull Summit doesn't have me confident about this hand, to be honest. Uh, if we knew there was two lands on top and we weren't on the play, I would probably take this hand, but let's just take the free mulligan there. And this is kind of like a blue source from Greatness. If we can do, do turn three Sarkin into turn four Niv-Mizzet, that's going to be pretty sick. So I'm going to take this one and bottom one of the lands. We can do uh, Blood Crypt tapped. It's going to make all of our check lands come into play on tap now, so that's going to be pretty sweet for us. And opponent just... Shocks and passes, so it's either an opt or they were hoping to shock off some early game aggression, I guess. Yeah. Okay, uh, this looks like it's going to be a really good matchup for us. If we're looking at, like, is it Phoenix or Drake's, a niv Mizzet on turn 4 is just back-breaking. And, well, there we go. There's the steam vents. Uh, I think I'm just going to... Hmm... I'm really concerned about a potential negate or spell pierce. But I think I'm going to go for it. Usually those kind of decks run them few and far between in the first game. Second, not so much. But looks like they might have it. No? Okay. Maybe they got the burn then. Yeah, it looks like they've got enough to kill Sarkin here. told me I should do this. Alright, I'm going to get rid of the mountain, see if we can find another blue sauce. So we can just naturally cast this niv it. And I imagine it gets shocked off here. Yeah. Alright. Fair. 2 for 1 on the Sarkin, and we dug through our deck a little bit. Can't be too upset about something like that. Okay, so Steam Vent's tapped, and we got the Lava Coil for the first Crackling Drake, if that's what we're facing. Otherwise, Arc Light Phoenix. Kefnet? You. Alright, well, let's match it with our 5-5. Five five. Kefnet's uh, real bad. But if we can get away to generate two more blue mana, that's going to be real nice. Ooh, a 2 for 1. Sweet. Every day is a 2 for 1 day. Over on Dragon Tribal. Another mountain's not ideal. I think now we go for the Lava Coils on the Kefnet. I'm not entirely sure, though, but I don't think I want them copying off the top. It's just not something I have in mind. That being said, losing two Lava Coils for a potential Phoenix deck doesn't seem great either. I think I'm going to let them have it for a little while. I feel like these Lava Coils can actually be one-for-ones rather than a two-for-one. So it looks like, you know, they've whiffed on the Kefnet once, and that's kind of what I'm hoping will happen for a while. At least until I can get this niv it down. And there's a great target for a Lava Coil. Leaves us with four mana, though, which is awkward, but we're going to go for it. Okay. Our draws aren't quite lining up for us, but it looks like they're not for our opponent either. That's two whiffs with the uh, Kefnet. They have got an Arc like Phoenix, so this Lava Coil's got another target. Quite potentially, anyway. Mmm, why aren't you a blue sauce? Alright, Hellkite. Counter up. This is going to make all the difference in the world. If the Hellkite dies, we probably die with it. Whiffs for the third time. I really want to love Kefnet, but he does it so much that uh, it's just not. It's not a good card. Singleton, I've made it, managed to make it work, but that's been about it. Okay, well, we kill Kefnet here. And then we offer the Lava Coil on the Phoenix. Opponent's going to need a shock in hand to finish the Hellkite. I think I'd like those odds. Because if they cast it now, it's one less card to get the other Phoenix out of their yard. Sulfur Falls, good stuff. 
Alright, so, deal with one. Since it's sorcery speed, I want to do this now. Uh, looks like we're going to lightning strike in response. Okay. Keep it in play. It's a decent line to take. We can't afford to attack now because there's six points coming back at us potentially. And if they do it right, we're not really going to be able to ping with the Hellkite. We'll create great pings, you and I. But it looks like we're in a good spot. So now I get to ping down idea. Sahili a little bit. Ooh. That's pretty good. So Varric's Blade Wing. Make some extra 4-4s four and now I think I'm comfortable going in. I suppose I didn't really need to actually uh, ping off the Sahili there. See if they discard another Phoenix. How lucky are you today, opponent? Not lucky enough because they haven't just turbo slammed into the yard. And now they need these two to be instant spells for four mana. That's one. Two mana or less instant speed spell. Or well, sorcery, I guess. If they've got another lava coil, that would really suck. But it's not meant to be. Um, have we got lethal? We got lethal, right? Looks like it. Get on in. So, an extra two. And... Uh, an extra two. Good stuff. Alright, is it Drake's? But is it, though? It looks like they've got a fair few things that we want to deal with right there. So ship and fires are quite nice. Uh, Undermord egos are also pretty interesting. You name like Crackling Drake and Arthite -like Phoenix and you're in a good spot. Um, obviously Graft Digger's Cage really good against Arclight -like Phoenix. So creature cards and graveyards and libraries can't enter the battlefield and players can't cast basically jumpstart spells from graveyards or libraries. I think even the finale casts them from the graveyard. Am I right? I think I am. Uh, we definitely want to bring in the Niv-Mizzets. These are going to be our absolute powerhouses, and we can go down the Dracoseths to fit those in, I imagine. Uh, the Shivan Fires are also reasonable. They can hit a Crackling Drake in the late game, but Arc Light Phoenixes and t Servo Tokens in the early game. We do need to worry about things like uh, Ral as well. So I might consider bringing in the Fries so we can hit Rals. They also hit uh, Crackling Drakes and Enigma Drakes as well, so they're pretty sweet. Uh, maybe... Hmm. Lava Coils are awesome. Flame Sweeps don't seem necessary. I'm going to go down the Demanding Dragons. Uh, these are just going to lose a servo, basically, and that's not something I'm interested in. Hmm. Torn on the Unmod Egos. I think with the Graft Digger's Cage and all of this removal, though, we should be okay. We definitely want to go down the Lanneries, though, because they just died to shocks, and we don't want that. So I could see maybe an Unmod Ego and maybe a Flame Sweep. Just as, like, a contingency plan against mass servoing. Let's try it out. I'm not sure the Flame Sweep's actually a good thing, but it's there to test, right? I like testing. Fry also hits uh, Niv-Mizzets as well, so if our opponent has one, we can take it out. Okay, two lands, some removal, and double Dragon's Hordes. Uh, this does look like a potential for a castable Niv-Mizzet. I think I'm going to take this one. It does need its third land though, of course. Hmm. Fry is quite nice for uh, counter magic as well. Ooh, Graf Digger's Cage. That's a good one. Do we need to get it down now, though? We don't really. We can do it on turn three if we get our land. 
We can do Dragon's Horde, potentially get that countered instead of the Graft Digger's Cage. And if we don't, then we use the mana on the, the Horde instead to get the cage down. Shivan Fire. Well, it ain't a land, but it is removal for like an Electromancer, I guess. And we've whiffed. Alright, well, to avoid losing to uh, discard, let's just get the cage down and it's resolved. Still got the Shiv and Fire for the hard casted Phoenix. But this time we've got a Crackling Drake instead, which we can fry if we don't draw a land. And yeah, we didn't. Alright, so let's just fry the Crackling Drake. And we might just lose to Mana Screw. Kefnet. Yeah, it's looking that way. Pass the turn. Uh, let's dump another Dragon's Horde. Opponents whiffed for maybe the fifth time on that Kefnet. Not hit once so far. I think the odds of this thing actually hitting get worse uh, post sideboard and Niv is it. I think that's good enough for me. We're just way too far behind, and it's just not. It's not going to cut it. If we could maybe unmod ego the Niv Mizits, that'd be nice, but we can't, so we won't. Yeah, that was rough, but I don't think it was just not winnable. I don't think the hand that we took was bad. I just think that the way we ended out was instead. I'm going to get rid of that Flame Sweep. I think it's too unlikely to be relevant. We'll go with a Negate instead. Alright, on the play. Can we get three lands? We can. <laughs> but we're not getting any ramp into these Niv Mizzets, so... This could be a Mana Flood instead, who knows, we'll see. This being uncounterable and basically against our opponent's deck guaranteeing like a two card draw, unless they're running fries themselves, which they might very well be. It's not a bad card to run against us with uh, niv Mizzets and Nickel Bolas both being blue. Come on, oh well, that's the third blue. I'm not going to lie, it's something that we kind of need. But I think a Dragon Sword would be much nicer. Sweet. Oh, get Dragon Sword down. And if that stays in play, we got a Niv Mizzet next turn. I think that might just win us the game. Opponent's on four mana. We're on six. So our opponent spends their entire turn trying to eat through Niv Mizzet. And then we just play another one. And they should hopefully be uh, very light on cards. As I said, unless they've got the Fry, which is obviously a one card way to kill Niv-Mizzet. But we draw a card off of it, so it's not the end of the world. Yep, looks like we're drawing two. Sweet. Got Sarkhan. Got a land. Yeah, good old lands. Alright. Two cards that our opponent might want to be casting in the same turn to get themselves an Arc Light Phoenix down. No longer can they do such a thing. And yeah, I think we just dropped down another Niv Mizzet. Our opponent <laughs> now opts in response to avoid the trigger on the Niv Mizzet, and I think that'll do it. Because this time they'll spend probably the two spells that would kill Nickel Bolas. We also have the draw on the Dragon's Horde here. For a ping off of Niv Mizzet. For whatever that's worth. And we're just way too far ahead of our opponent now. Alright, we draw, we ping. We play lands. We'll uh, Sarkin into Bolas. We'll pay for spell pierce as well. Uh, Let us fight. 
I guess we'll just go with a nickel bolus. Loot away a shivan fire, I guess. Let's get that value in now. The draw value off of the Niv Mizzet. I think once we got like Niv Mizzet and Bolus down, Arc Like Phoenix is less likely to be an issue, and therefore the Shivan Fire is not going to be all that great. Alright, they discard. We're going to be able to draw. And if they don't deal with Nickel Bolus, we have Reanimator on Niv Mizzets. Once we transform him. Opponent gets rid of Entrancing Melody. Ooh. That wouldn't have been a problem, actually, for us. To be perfectly honest, they steal one of our creatures and we have the power to kill it. So we have the draw, plus the Shiv and Fire with the niv Mizzet triggers. That's four damage. they got a niv Mizzet of their own. Alright. Time to kill niv Mizzet. So let's draw. This one's not going to get them. The next one sure as hell will. Ping you. Uh, let's... I guess we could... Target creature. Minus three. Yeah, we could do that. I could also just, like, draw and discard my way to a uh, victory condition. Methods. So, let's just discard Hellkite. Ping our opponent. Shiv and fire with kicker on Niv Mizzet. They're going to need a dive down here. Nothing else will cut it. All the pings go at my opponent's face. They have no blockers and they lose. Wicked. All right. Uh, one game being a Absolute mana screw was a bit rough, but once we're on the play and we managed to get a Niv-Mizzet down against our opponent, there's not much coming back from that, I would say. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's open up a pack, shall we? Got a Ravnica Allegiance pack. Yay. We can also open up uh, an M20 while we're here, I suppose. Ethereal Absolution. I think I'm like maybe two rares off of completing this set, so that's going to be interesting. Let's get ourselves an M20 as well to finish it off. Boop. And boop. What do we have? Uncommon wild card, another uncommon wild card, and dungeon geists. Uh, I'll be making two of those in my collection now, which is probably the sweet spot. Don't really want more than that. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in more content, I do offer as a reward for those who are channel members, uh, patrons, or Twitch subscribers, a fourth video of every weekly series deck. So that'll be coming out tomorrow for you guys if you are interested in doing any of that. Links to all the stuff and the details are down below. But other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.